Hello. Welcome to Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies. Well, we are finally outside. And guess what? The garden has expanded. We had some work done. So, check it out. Oh, check it out. That's where the old garden was. Still got some things down there. It's a little cliffed. You can't see over it. But, uh... That's an old trellis I had with beans on it. All right, let's walk. Walk with me. And you're going to experience the transformation of Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies. Mm-hmm. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. If you like what you see, please go ahead. Subscribe. Click the thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> Don't forget to click the bell. You'll be notified every time I drop a video. And if you're already a subscriber, you know I celebrate you. You rock. You rock. Thank you for being a subscriber. Well, we're almost at the end. And we've walked this entire mess keep going and here's my little mulch pile got a little mulch back here that i get i can get to see those was those are the trees that were cut down so what i'm gonna do since the tree was sacrificed for me for me to plant my garden i'm gonna use this tree look at it what can I use this for? I can use it at the bottom. Oh, it smells so good over here. Listen, you give it back to the soil. This is great material that's going to, it's going to just, um, what word am I trying to say? Good grief. I had a brain fart. But listen, you know what I mean. It'll disintegrate. It'll go back. It's biodegradable. It'll go back into the soil. And this is, you know, we breathe out carbon plants need carbon to live okay so i'm taking all of this sacrifice tree and i'm going to give it back to the soil so that my plants will grow beautifully this is awesome for my soil look at it if you got compost you can put some of this wood chips in your compost you know plants all that stuff needs phosphorus you need potassium you know nitrogen sunlight all that rain so yeah this is the garden this is what it's gonna it's gonna transform i know what you're saying it looks like a mess the big bobcat, it really did get, the guy really didn't do a good job. He, what he did was basically gave me more work to do. He compacted this thick Georgia clay dirt by rolling those big wheels over there, those big chain tires. So, man, I got a lot of work to do. Of course, the, you know, near the stumps, there won't be any growing there or anything. And we kept those, you know. For them on purpose. We wanted them a little higher, but we cut them down. But, um, yeah. I got to get to doing some amending. I'm going to add some things. Like I say, the wood chips are going to be amazing. I can use those also for, like, walk paths. You can use it for several things. Um, you, um, okay. You can use the wood chips for a lot of things, you know, for your bed, line your beds. Uh, keep those. Look at that. Look at all that fresh wood chips up there. And a bunch of junk. That stuff is on the other side of that property line. We're getting the privacy fence up, too. So, yeah, I'm thinking corn and sunflowers and beans. But I don't want to keep you any longer with this video. I just wanted you to see the first part of Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies. Well, all you see is big, thick tractor print. Big, thick tractor print. Well, I'll come back with the transformation and let you see how we turn out here 
in the Fitzgerald Garden of Goodies. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sheba. Come, get fresh.